Texas. School safety is at the top of mind for many parents tonight, but even more so for those who go to Patrick Henry High School in Minneapolis. A police began searching for a possible person with a gun inside the school after receiving a call about 3.30 this afternoon. Fortunately, the school had already ended for the day, so the majority of students were out of the building. However, police still had to go room to room looking for the suspect, and there was a huge police presence in front of the school. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has been talking to police and parents, and she joins us live now outside of Patrick Henry High School. What's going on? Well, Frank, I think you know this. Any parent, anybody out there knows that this scene is terrifying, especially for the parents here, the students here, and the scene is still active. I want to show you what's going on behind me right here. There's still several police cars, and you can see students are slowly trickling out. They're coming our way. We want to show you some video we got earlier and tell you some new information we got here just within the last hour. Officers believe that the potential suspect here has fled this area. They have video of that man leaving the school, but they don't know exactly where he is. They got a report of a gun here at Patrick Henry. They say that they believe a man was carrying it. Minneapolis Public Schools quickly called a code red emergency. They went into that protocol that we've been talking about so much over the past few weeks. They locked down. They swept the school. Nothing has been found so far, and they believe the potential suspect is gone, but still a very tense moment. A student FaceTimed to me, Savannah, from inside, and then her mom, who's waiting outside, reacted. How are you guys doing in there? We good. We're, We're scared. We're scared. hungry. Mom, I'm scared and hungry. It's scary. It's scary for the kids who just, you know, want to come to school and be in peace and learn. And it's scary as a parent. You never think it's going to happen to you. But when I got that call at work today, and it was my daughter's school, I was like, oh. It was scary because it's like they have the cold reds and stuff. And then when they had rushed us out, and then when we was going out, it was like guns and stuff. The police was right there had guns. And we had thought it was going like, to be another school shooting. Like, we actually thought people got hurt and stuff. So it was actually, yeah, it was bad. Now, police giving us a description of what they believe might be a potential suspect. They say it's a black male with a gray coat and a brown beanie, and they are looking right now. We want to show you another scene right here behind us. This is the reunification area here at Newton and 44th Avenue. This is where students are currently meeting up with their parents. Once they get here, they get on those city buses, and you guys know that no doubt there will be some very grateful parents waiting for them at home. Uh, no doubt. That's scary, scary stuff. All right, Susan Elizabeth, uh, thank you very much. Scary.